Hi everyone and welcome to the next episode of Ask WSO. My name is Isabella and today's video is going to be covering target and semi-target schools that are best for getting into finance and investment banking. Now of course it's important to look at your options if you're able to go to a target school or a semi-target school. I'm also going to be doing another video probably down the line about breaking into finance without a target school. I am nowhere near target or semi-target school. I went to a community college and then transferred to a public state university and I had to do a lot of work experience to kind of make up for it and get my way up there. However, it still works out for me so if you can't get into one of these schools, don't worry. But anyway, to move on with the video, I'm going to do some screen recording for you guys so you guys can see which banks on our database hire from which school. And even my school showed up there, which I was really surprised about. So you never know. So stay tuned so you can look at your bank or wherever you plan on working and so that you also know how to check it out yourself. Hi, everyone. To get started, the first step you're going to want to go ahead and do is go to wallstreetoasis.com. And of course, I'm logged in over here. Once you're logged in, you can move your mouse over reports and click on investment banking university stats. We also have stats for private equity, hedge funds, and consulting, but today I'm going to be going over the investment banking stats. What you're going to be seeing at the very top is university stats for bulge bracket banks. So you can see we provide data on which schools are at the very top for which banks. So for Goldman Sachs, it's Harvard University at 5.3%. And if you move over to Morgan Stanley, it's 6.7%. Then you can move down to NYU, which is number two. Goldman Sachs, it's 2.8%. At Citigroup, it's 4%. At Barclays Capital, it's 5.4%. And you can move more to the side and get a total average. But basically, it's showing you the schools that are showing up at the top the most frequently that are being recruited by these bulge bracket banks. Of course, it looks like Goldman hires from Harvard a little bit more than Citigroup. Citigroup hires a little bit more from a couple of other ones. So you're really going to want to compare. If you're looking to what school you want to get into or you are going to a school and you want to see what potentially you have the best fit for or what you think is going to be the easiest to hire you based on these stats, you can always compare it with yourself. Now, after you get past the top five, these are, of course, mostly Ivy League schools. Of course, there's Yale down here and some others, but as you continue to go down, you're going to see others like UCLA, Georgetown, Northwestern. Um, you're even going to see the University of California schools. If you go to the very bottom, which is Warwick Business School, you can see that it even goes up to 238. So I'm going to look up my school, which is Arizona State University. And it looks like it's number 49. So it's definitely not one of the very tops, but I was surprised that it was even this high, to be honest with you, um, just because there's some party associations with the school. So if you have any doubts in your own school, you can just do Control F and just type in your school of C and you can see if you can find it anywhere on this list. Again, this is data just for the bulge bracket banks. So once you've gone ahead, you've looked at Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, Morgan Stanley, Credit Suisse, etc. If you want to check out some of the ones that are under our other notable banks section, you can do that here, like Lazard, Evercore, etc. So it looks like number one on this list is NYU. Harvard is actually four on here. Columbia is eight. And Again, we're going to do um, out of 195 schools on this side, where Arizona State University on this side is 183. So that's a drastic change from number 49 to 183. So as you can see, the stats um, are going to be different between the two of them, so you're definitely going to want to check. And because there's so many banks, you not only can you go up and down to see what schools, you can scroll left and right to see all of the different banks. Again, we also have reports from previous years, so if you're curious to see more than just the current year, you can go back and see the reports for those. We also encourage everyone who goes on here, if they have a chance to just enter their input as well, so that we can keep growing this and so that we get up to the minute the most accurate results. Alrighty, everybody, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, in the description box below, all my information is going to be there. Reach out to me. Make sure to message me if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter and say that you're from Wall Street Oasis so I can follow you back and so that we can talk if you have any questions. Also, feel free to add me on LinkedIn, anything. I always respond. I always love to help out. And I learned from a lot of you guys, too. So I look forward to seeing you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe, of course. And stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.